All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and we have a new Dragon Ball Hero story event uh, here in Dokkan. Uh, there's now a few of these, right? We have the Prison Planet Saga one. We also have uh, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission sort of collab story event. So uh, I do love all the representation that we're getting from Dragon Ball Heroes in the game. It's definitely very, very good. Uh, and then their uh, Mecha Kabura or whatever. It's gonna be, you know, he eventually could have like a big time unit. I mean, he's definitely Dokkan Fest exclusive worthy. Although, I don't know if Mecha Kabura probably doesn't mean much to most people. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's only two stages for this event, but I mean, the story event is very important because these medals awaken like eight characters. It's huge. Um, and then, of course, we also have the free to play unit here. Um, this is Demon God Souls, uh, right? I believe. Uh, what's interesting about that is there's. 500 of these demon god characters right so like you know if they really wanted to they could bring a ton of them into the game and i mean it would be good because these characters are on you know dragon ball seekers time traveler terrifying conquer dragon ball heroes and crossover so a bunch of teams would be getting buffs i mean the fact that these characters are on dragon ball seekers is one of the biggest things about that right so it makes me think that we can you know Potentially getting a villain Dragon Ball Seeker lead eventually could be very, very important. Who knows? Maybe like um, a Great Ape Vegeta could potentially be like a uh, Dragon Ball Seeker leader. That's a villain. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely could be the case. Um, and then again, a ton of units still kind of waking with the medals from this event. Demon God Devora, Demon Goddess Toa, the uh, Demon Form of Demigra, Super Mira, Dark Mask King, Black Mask Saiyan. All... Dokkan Awaken with these medals, so you're going to be grinding this stage up quite a bit. Um, and then Dragon Ball Hero units um, increase the drop rate here, uh, here in the event. So let's go ahead and hop in. Um, we'll <laughs> Again, your boy is going to be grinding this quite a bit because there's a lot of medals we need to get grinded up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring a Super Vegito friend. Sure, why not? Or uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito friend. Again, just a Dragon Ball Heroes team. Uh, remember that, you know, you could run Demon Goddess Toa as a leader. You've got Super Fu, who's Dragon Ball Heroes leader. But remember that all of the Dragon Ball Hero cards are also on the crossover team. So you can just rock um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito as your lead as well, right? Uh, this will be good, too, because potentially I could get some Link level ups uh, while grinding these also, too. I think I, I have Super Saiyan 4 Broly on here as well. Um, again, I do have to get Super Saiyan 4 Broly um, Link level and stuff like that. I want to get them all Link leveled, you know, to, like full links of like five or so uh before i would do rainbow showcases because it's just like like level one rainbow showcase i just feel like it's, it's almost pointless just because it's so easy to link level up until you get to like level four that's where it slows down a little bit and then it's like once you get to like level seven that's where it slows down a lot of it right um all right so here of course we have mira uh mass saiyan and toa now this is the new mira and then this is the new toa right here the, the dokkan awakenings that just came out on jp um I, those probably won't be coming out for a while on global i assume they're going to come with super saiyan 4 gogeta on on global but again that i mean that's probably not going to be for a good you know uh, three or four months like a lot of people are asking when is super saiyan 4 gogeta coming to global i mean i don't think to expect i mean because you still got to go through, like, Blue Goku and Vegeta and Jiren. You know, that'll take you to at least, like, the first week of January or something like that. Um, then maybe Angel, Gold, and Frieza. Um, I mean, then, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta could potentially come in around that point, though, I guess. Um, you know, and now, of course, we're going to be moving into Bojack soon. So, yeah, maybe maybe February, March-ish is where we can potentially see. I mean, there could be a Global First also. Like, there's still a, a lot of potential... Um, for what's going to be coming to global moving forward uh, i know a lot of people are going to want to get that super saiyan 4 gogeta i mean here's the thing summoning for gogeta himself like how good he is oh no counter vegeto come on uh summoning for how good uh the gogeta is yeah i would recommend summoning he's he's either the best tur or number two behind gohan in my eyes right but gogeta's banner is not the greatest wow that's was that nine Oh, you get like nine per run, huh? Because I think it's 20 medals to awaken all of these units, right? Like Demon Goddess Toa, Demon God Souls, or like all these characters, they awaken with 20 of them. Okay, so if you're getting nine or 10 per run, that's not that bad whatsoever. I mean, obviously I'm running a full TUR team, 
uh, with all, like, you know, like, we have basically the max category bonus right here, but still, that's, okay, okay that, that's, that's, that's not gonna be as bad as I was thinking, because I was looking at that, and it's like, oh boy, uh, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be jumping in here for quite a few runs, it seems like, <laughs> All right, so now we'll go ahead and do the second stage right here. Um, there, of course, is our boy, uh, Dark Mass King. He is, su as long as you got another Dragon Ball Heroes unit around, that Dark Mass King is going to be a problem. He is super, super good. So, um, again, I, I, I really do recommend summoning on this Dragon Ball Heroes banner. Like, again, people get, like, you know, they're going to be seduced by the shininess of, like, Blue Goku and Vegeta as summonable LRs. You know, Full Power Jiren as a summonable LR. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, amazing. But, I mean, this Heroes banner, these exclusives, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta eventually is going to be on a ton of banners. Same with, you know, Blue Goku and Vegeta will be a bit more rare. But they're probably going to end up on things like the Worldwide Download Celebration, Saiyan Day, you know, Tiana Bottle. Like, you're going to see them on big-time banners in the future. That, you know, people are probably going to want to summon on Saiyan Day or Anniversary banners or something like that, right? Honestly, Blue Goku and Vegeta on the anniver six-year anniversary banners, that seems very, very likely and possible to me. Right, because again, the um, anniversary banners are gonna be—it's gonna be tournament of power themes, right? So obviously, blue Goku and Vegeta on there makes a ton of sense. Um, so you know, I, I guess we'll see. But then there's also the possibility that we could see like STR Vegito and like LR Blue Tanks on those anniversary banners. So like that's the thing, right? Like the anniversary is gonna come out on JP before like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta comes out or something like that, right? And it's instantly gonna become whoa! <laughs> Global, y'all need to save your stones for anniversary. Like, that's always the way it goes, right? Like, it, it quickly turns into that. Yeah, okay, my Broly's getting close to where I'm ready to do the Rainbow Showcase on him, actually. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get rid of Demon God Souls right here. Um, this, of course, is the stage where you farm Demon God Souls up. I will probably go ahead and farm him up, and we'll go ahead and Rainbow and Awaken him um, as part of this video. I've usually been doing that with these free-to-play units these days. And then, of course, oh, zero drops. Beautiful. That's awesome. Uh, oh, nice. And then a level up for Broly. Yeah, the one thing about, uh, like, doing these, like, story stages and stuff like that, um, you know, 15 stamina story stages, it's a good place to grind link levels, you know, for your characters up to, like, link level 5 or so. Um, but then, obviously, once you get to that point at just only 15 stamina, you know, the link leveling, is the, the like, chances of it are going to decrease quite a bit. Yeah, so that's that's the stage where you get Demon God Souls right there. Um, we definitely just got one of him from missions, though. So let's go ahead and accept the missions, um, and then I'll go ahead and finish up the grind. You know, I'll get him rainbowed. We'll rainbow him. We'll do a kind of waken him on screen. Um, and, of course, I'll do a rainbow showcase video for him along with all the other Dragon Ball Heroes units. But, you know, all these link levels, man, it's a, it's a real thing at this point. <laughs> link levels is redonkulous. Oh, okay, we got some keys. Oh, I got one of those tickets. Yeah, those tickets are only on JP, but they don't really mean much, right? It's not something that, like, any uh, player that's not living in Japan could take advantage of. So, all right, we'll be right back. Um, I'll get this guy all duped up and stuff like that, and we'll continue on. All right, so the grind is completed. Now we'll go ahead and put the Rainbow Star on Demon God Souls right here. Now, Demon God Souls is not really super crazy or anything. I mean, he is just a free-to-play unit, right? You know, in comparison to all the other units we just got, which are all summonable, uh, like, or Awakenings or something like that. Just all very solid overall, right? Uh, the one thing is, I would say, like, Salsa does do enough sort of, like, I would say defensive things to at least make him viable like for example I do think he's probably gonna be a solid option for people for extreme tech extreme super battle road because he does still raise his defense by 50% on super attack he does seal right um, the only thing is like getting other crossover category allies on the team is where you might have a little bit of trouble uh, for extreme tech extreme super battle road because I mean we're talking Toa who's not out on global mass Saiyan doesn't have his easy and global Super Saiyan 3 Broly doesn't have his EZA and Global, right? So you basically just have Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Golden Cooler, and Solza right now as, like, actual solid options, like, for running on Extreme Tech for Global. I mean, obviously, JP, again, you know, you could do, to like, Toa, Demon God Solza, and then, like, Mass Saiyan or Super Saiyan 4 Broly definitely could get the job done uh, running in, like, uh, you know, just Extreme Tech, Extreme Super Auto Road. But it it's just we still are seriously at the point where, like, any extreme tech units that come out is just really good for that reason because it's just still so limited like it's it's it does suck because like demon god Deborah 
and Black Mask Saiyan both would have been, I think, way better for Extreme Tech. Uh, Demon Goddess Toa and Dark Mask King also would have been way better for Extreme Tech. Uh, Super Mirror probably would have been, and so would De like Demon uh, Demigra. Seriously, like, the worst units for Super Battle Road from this update are the ones that are in Extreme Tech. <laughs> it's actually insane. It's like, they know. It's like, yeah, nah, sorry. We ain't giving... <laughs> We're not giving you uh, good options quite yet. <laughs> um, all right, here, let me just level him up real quick, and then we'll go ahead and grab those missions. Um, so we'll go ahead and get all of the missions done. Again, I I'm actually pretty pleased with this whole Dragon Ball Heroes update. Uh, I think they did do a pretty good job with it, right? Like, we have, I think, an acceptable amount of, um, like, content and stuff like that. You know, we have a new free-to-play character. There's the Time Patrol event. There's the new Vegito Dokkan event. Like, I do think there is enough here um, to sort of give us content, right? Considering that, like, you know, in previous years, it was just like a banner, right? And then last year, we got, um, you know, we did get the Prison uh, Planet, like, Prison Planet Saga story event. Uh, so that was pretty good. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab the two missions right here. Um, just, what was it? I think Zenny and probably a statue, because I don't think the, the gift card, that that's not related to it. <laughs> I don't think. Well, whatever. All right. So there we go. Um, there's the uh, story event right there. There's Demon God Salsa. I will go ahead and get his links leveled up, um, and we'll go ahead and test him out, see how solid he is rainbowed, see what sort of defensive levels he's able to get to. Again, considering he does raise his defense by 50% on super attack, that will help him out a little bit more. And he does seal and stuff like that. So, you know, if you've got a, an Icarus active or something like that, there's worse you could do for sure than this Demon God Souls. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.